vibrations. Um, ooh, holy cow, my log my little cushion that I use to meditate. So um, I just wanted to come on and say good morning, send out my love, cheer, joy, happiness, poof, to everybody that watches this video. I love you guys. Um, a lot of crazy stuff going up in the world, but oh well, don't let it phase you. Stay in a high vibration because a new world is coming. And uh, we will endure to the end. Regardless, we will endure. Everyone I know and have talked to, and even the ones I don't know and don't talk to, know that you have strength inside of you that is unbelievable. Unbelievable. So when you call upon the Almighty One, Holy Spirit, Father God, let me tell you, amazingness you will feel the love that he has for you and to be honest that is the only love that matters the most beautiful love story regardless of the circumstances of your life at the moment don't let it get you down just know that the almighty one loves you more than you could ever imagine and you're not a sinner and all this stuff they try to say that you are. Remove that label from you. Do not accept it. Know that you are loved and carry the virtues of our Christ. Oh, our Father loves us like no other, you guys. You are beautiful. You are amazing inside. And this video will reach all of you that truly understand the love that we need to have for our brothers and sisters, regardless of what they're going through, what we're going through, the compassion that we need to have for each other, whether someone completely understands the situation, the story, what's going on, no matter what, we need to have compassion and pray for them. Fight your battles with your hands held high because that power that gets sent through the universe is amazing. So I made a video last night. I forgot to post it. I'm going to post it with this one. And it talks about how um, when you stay in a high vibration, how much how like one person that is awake and in a very high vibration vibrates at a certain level right and then when there's say 750,000 people in a negative vibration that one person wipes out all that other negativity just by that one person standing in that truth and being that vibration. It's beautiful, you guys. I, so I read it last night. I found it on the internet and I made a little video. So you're gonna wanna hear that one because it's really cool. So just stay in that high vibration. The higher vibration you have, the less like bad stuff comes around you. Um, I know because I live it and all glory to the Almighty Father, Father, Mother, you name it. They are amazing and they will guide your heart and I'm telling you it's beautiful when you stand in the truth and you have such a beautiful connection. We all do. You just have to fight them within yourself and go there because God is within each and every one of us especially right now because we're in the time of son of man he's always been in us but it's been hidden from us and different teachings and different things of you know the what the world tried to hide and so um go within and just really oh it's beautiful, you guys. Meditate a lot. Pray with the Almighty. I mean, because He shows us things that we never even thought possible. 
But what's it say? Through him all things are possible. The Almighty One. And I see a lot of people talking about... Um, I just... I'm really trying to get away from all the religion stuff. Because religion has left a really bad taste in my mouth. And I don't really want to go too much down the road with it. But uh, I'm learning so much more now that I've like tried to get a lot of the indoctrination out of my mind. I still come across words that I still use and say, I mean, but how can you not, you know, when it's been stuck there for so long? But I'm telling you, go within, you guys. Meditate. Um, really seek the Almighty within because He's there. Okay, they say the pineal gland is the seat of the soul. And uh, Christ said, if you make thine eye single, your body will be filled with light. God is light. So what's that tell us? Church didn't teach us that because then we would need no church. So just for the record, know that when you're in meditation and your pineal gland is active, it's open all the time right now. It's a matter of you calling upon the Almighty and sitting with Him. Sorry about the dirt road. And um, that's all it takes, you guys. Just And it, your love vibration will be so amazing. But if you have, like, forgiveness, you guys, be huge on forgiveness. Forgive others before they even do it. That's how I, how I managed to go about the whole forgiveness step. I forgive before anybody even does anything because say someone says something bad to me or not so nice to me I'm just like I don't really get mad I already forgive them because they didn't maybe mean to say it or whatever it is but as long as I'm forgiving right away like that I'm like wow this is really really amazing just keep forgiving and loving kind caring compassionate even to the ones that might seem to be confused or not know what's going on. I love you guys. Um, I'm going to come on and make another video, probably quite a few videos today. Um, as you can tell, I just went for a ride and I haven't you know, really done anything with myself, so whatever. Yeah, what's new? All my videos, I look like amazingness anyways, right? So... <laughs> I love you guys. Remember, always be yourself. Don't try to be fake. Don't try to put on a show for anyone. Don't worry about what people think about you. You guys are amazing and beautiful just the way you are. Do not allow anyone to tell you that you're a sinner when you're not, okay? First off, I think they need to learn what sin means. But if you're going to church, okay, let's just use this for example. I wake up, I go about my daily business. I'm not out trying to uh, do anything bad or ugly towards anyone. So I'm not sinning. So how am I a sinner? And neither are you. You wake up in the morning, you go to work, you do your day, you treat people kind, you love your neighbor. So how are you a sinner if you're going by what you're going by and being loved? And so when you go to church on Sunday and they try to say you're a sinner, know that you're not a sinner, okay? You are not a sinner. And circumstances of your life don't make you a sinner. Now we all were born to be good for the most part so it's all really about you know just go in and deep dive don't allow people to call you a sinner when you're not oh the sun looks so cool with the clouds I should show you guys so um, let's see if I can do this um, so don't don't allow no one to put that label on you because you're not if you're waking up and living your life the way you're supposed to and being love and all you're not a sinner so don't let no one put that on you because you're not the father loves you just the way you are and when you have hard times or you're struggling and you know 
that's a circumstance of life. Your virtues come from your heart. Your heart is what identifies you to the Almighty, not what's on the outside here, okay? I love you guys. You're completely beautiful and amazing. I send all my love and all my high vibrations out to you guys. And uh, I want to let you know, you are beautiful. I love you. Have a beautiful day. I will be back.